Hey guys, today we're going to use Affinity Photo version 2 to turn a daylight picture like this one into a night picture. All right, so we've got this very nice lighthouse here in the middle. I will duplicate this photo, so we got the save copy. And now we're going to change this image into a night-like image using some adjustments. So let's go to adjustment panel. And let's start by making this image way darker. So I will change the exposure of it using this adjustment over here. So let's make it darker. By default minus two, we can even go further than this. We need a night photo now. All right, so here it is. Let's desaturate this image as well. So I will lower the saturation over here using this adjustment. You can just move this slider to the left like that to make it less saturated. If you put it to the max, it will be totally black and white. That's not what we want. Okay, so that's a good start. Seems like we are almost ready to start working on additional elements like lights and the main color for the night. So I'm going to draw this additional rectangle cover the whole area and this would be my main color for this night light so this will be dark and cold so let's go for the blue color as you can see this is very simple gradient from from lighter blue to darker and more like violet blue okay that's nice uh, so we can see we cannot see the original picture below so let's change the blending mode here something about light like overlay soft light something between so let's try with overlay first and of course we need to reduce that amount it's too high right now all right it's way darker and it's nice and cold like blue color on it so just like night and now we got this additional layer so we can now go over the shape as well and this time trapezoid shape so we're going to create some artificial lights from the lighthouse i will go for the warm color this time almost white let's rotate this and we will create some additional lights nice and let's place it into position so we got one rate of light to the right side and one to the left so i will need to duplicate this element and flip it oh. all right and now i can position this on my lighthouse in the center of the image like that let's modify the left side a little bit so it's not exactly symmetrical all right we can use those orange points here nice group together so we got both of those shapes in one group that would be really really handy because we're going to blur them right now they are super sharp that's not what we need so let's group them together overlay here okay with shift select both and make a group out of them okay and let's now change the blend mode let's try with overall as well you can experiment when you're sliding your cursor you got live preview that's really nice in affinity photo all right overall and now we can with the overlay we can put it at the top first and then we need to blur this let's go with very simple blur so i can use the layer panel so i can use layer style for it here fx blur at the bottom move the slider to the right like that very very soft edge all right let's duplicate this whole group and for the copy we will put it here below the night light Let's make it a little bit smaller and also sharper. So this will be way stronger ray of light. Nice. 
You see we're getting there, we're turning this daylight image into night image, so we need to artificially create those lights. Nice. Just like that. This one may be even larger, okay. And now I will need some kind of warm color beaming from this lighthouse to contrast this cold blue like night color. So I think I'm going to use some kind of like orange like color. Not not like that, sorry, undo. <laughs> Let's use a brush and put it only on the lighthouse. So I will rasterize this shape. This way I will be able to use the raster brush to simply repaint part of it with this orange color. It's already blending as overlay, so that's perfect. And this is this another benefit of using Affinity Photo versus Photoshop. We got the live preview. Even without clicking with the brush, I got live preview how it will all work on this layer. And it's also taking into account our blending mode. So that's really nice. Okay, a little bit larger one. Just click here to recolor part of that shape. Nice. And now we got this warm dot in the middle of this. And then on the separate layer, I'm going to use brush again to paint those beams left and right and changing blending mode to overlay again. So this is my warm light. And this is our night sky with little warm dot in the center. Then we got this big rays at the top and we got also those smaller and sharper rays below the night sky and then the saturated photo. All right, that's almost done. As you can see, this project is really simple. I'm not using any complex tools. We're simply making additional layers with colors and blending them into us fake lights. All right, you know what? Let's go for a mask here. So this light is a bit softer at the edge of the picture. So by using black color, I can mask out this just at the edge here. So it's a bit softer. All right, much better. And I think it's too symmetrical right now. I think I need more light on the right side, beaming to the C. So I think I need to create one more layer with, again, additional shape that will be one more ray of light on the right side. So let's go with trapezoid shape again. This time only on one side, as I mentioned. Very bright color, almost white. All right, move it to the position. Maybe rotation as well, like that. Let's blend it with overlay. Reduce opacity so it's not that strong. And then, we'll, of course, we need to blur this so we got soft edge on this shape. All right. You can play with opacity. Test what will work for you with your image. And then we blur the edge nicely, like this. And that's all for this little project. We create artificial night first, and then we add a bright light to our lighthouse. This way we turn daylight image into night image. Let's group all together and compare. All right, that's our fake night image. What was the original? Original is over here, very nice daylight image, and then our composition from this tutorial all right guys thank you for watching if you would like to learn more about affinity photo please check other videos and i hope i will see you in the next lesson bye